we're going to learn how to make a rainbow in Photoshop. First thing you need to do is open the Photoshop program. Once you've opened Photoshop, you need to create a new file. We'll call this a rainbow in 3D, because we're going to do some 3D in it. Rainbow in 3D, and we'll leave it at 1500 pixels by 800 pixels. Our resolution at uh, 72 pixels per inch. We're going to stay in RGB color. And let's keep it in transparent. Because if we keep it on a transparent background, we can take it and apply it in other applications. There we have the um, transparent background grid. And to get our first layer today, we're going to go into 3D. And in the drop-down menu, you'll see we can do, choose a new shape from layer. Uh, you can do a cone, cube, cylinder, donut. I thought we'd go for a uh, cube. Here we are, up the top. A cube. And Photoshop goes ahead and makes a cube for us. There we have a lovely cube. And with these 3D rotating handles, we can rotate that cube we can pull it closer to ourselves or push it further away. In this case, I'm going to push it further away. And I'm going to rotate a little bit more. There we have it. Okay, now to this, <coughs> it's a layer in itself. Uh, we can come down here to the FX menu. Just follow my little cursor down. Here we are. The FX menu, that will apply effects to this layer. We'll go to the effects menu, we can click choose a drop shadow, which will give it a nice little drop shadow. But what I want to look at doing is going to the gradient overlay. And as you can see, it's overlaid a gradient and we've lost the dimension of our shape. But we can get that back. We'll just bring up the options tool and here, if we click into the gradient, we'll see we have many gradients to choose from. And as I've said, this is going to be about a rainbow. Let's see if we can find a clear rainbow. There's a transparent rainbow there, which comes across it. And we're going to choose that. And I thought it'd be fun to choose a radial gradient. There we have a radial version of that rainbow. And we have an opacity tool as well. And by playing around with the opacity, we can bring back the shape of the cube and still keep the rainbow happening. So there we have a rainbow on a cube, which is a little different perhaps to what you thought when you were going to do a rainbow thing. You might have thought we were going to do a rainbow across the sky or something else. So we might keep that layer intact, go OK to that, and then we'll come down here to our Layers menu. We'll click to add a new layer. Whilst we're I'll keep it on that layer because I'm going to move our cube for the time being. Put our cube down here. Look at how the rainbow changes as we move the cube. That's great. I like it like that better. And we'll select our new layer. And now I'm going to go to the gradient tool, which is on the tool panel. There we've got the gradient tool coming up. And um, up here, we've still got rainbow gradient selected up in the tool panel the um, cursor down into one of the corners and just click them and hold down and go out along that line when I let the mouse go boom we have a rainbow that's how easy it is to create a rainbow in Photoshop now we can play around with that we can grab that layer and bring it underneath the first layer that we did so that our first layer is hovering around on this rainbow. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab that. So there we now have created two rainbows in Photoshop. Let's save our work. File. Save. That's already saved as a rainbow in 3D in Photoshop. We'll keep it as a Photoshop file. Press save. It's gone off to the folder of semester one, which I wanted it to. And um, we're going to leave that transparent layer behind intact. 
because I said we're going to try and use this in another application. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close uh, the Photoshop file. And I'm going to open up Apple's Keynote program. And in that, you can drop and drag shapes and pictures. You can animate them. And here we have uh, quite a selection. Why don't we go for this uh, showroom? Go for that and we'll go for the size. Yeah, 1024 by 768 sounds good to me. Here we have it. Now I'm going to get rid of the text. Just highlight it, click delete, highlight, click delete. And I need to bring up my menu, uh, find a menu. And in my desktop, I've got my documents and I've got my uh, semester one files. In there I've got my rainbow in 3D. And I'm just going to grab this file, drag it over and drop it onto my background. I think that looks pretty good uh, just because it's got a background behind it. But what we can do now is let's grab an image or even a video. We can put a video behind it and it'll be over a video in this. But uh, I'm going to grab my iPhoto folder. I didn't really need to do that. I could have got to iPhoto through the inspector. But uh, today I was out and I took some photos down at the beach and I think this one of the flags could be an interesting one to drop in there. Now we need to send that to the back. So whilst we're in Keynote, arrange and send to back. And we've got that image that I've just dropped in there. Now in the background. And I mean, there we have just an interesting piece of art, for example. And we can grab our cube layer and bring up the inspector. Select objects in the inspector. And here we've got an opacity slider. We can change the opacity of that cube that we've dropped in and come up with something a bit more surreal looking than it was when it was a solid. And if we grab the handles on the side of it, we can make it a bit smaller. Then we've got the uh, problem of uh, making sure it doesn't have, like it does there, see that, that flat edge in the middle of nowhere makes it look slightly unrealistic. So we can drop that into the corner there like that. And we'll just bring up the uh, opacity a tad. And I mean, that's almost believable that um, there's a rainbow with a cube rainbow falling off the edge of it in that. If we want to take that one step further in the Keynote program, there's this yellow build inspector. We'll clip on that. And that gives us a, a, the option to animate how a rainbow might appear. And uh, you could be, perhaps you watch the little preview here, perhaps have it coming in as confetti, which looked a little bit unreal. Um, you could have it arrive as flash bulbs. No. Uh, lens flare. That looked a little more real. That looked like maybe Star Trek uh, beamed it down there. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. And uh, I'll make it happen automatically after transition. So there's my little preview. And what I'm going to do now is close that drawer and we'll preview the little creation that we've taken a few moments to make here. There we have it. Not just created a rainbow. We've taken it to the beach and we've beamed it down and we've um, had a bit of fun. You can stop this video at any time and redo it. You can stop it at any place and catch up. It's great to use it as a companion. And I've been David Smuha, your host. Thanks for watching.